in this session we are going to discuss power automate so actually the power automate is a cloud based application is used to create a workflow to implement the business process so we have three different type of types of flows available one is instant flow instant flow can start whenever it requires an automated flow which starts automatically when an event occurs like uh, when a user creates an item when a user uploads a document into a document library or maybe some uh, some kind of actions if the document is check out check in or maybe a email trigger to the mailbox this kind of uh, flows will called as a automated flows and the last one is scheduled flows and which triggers on periodical fashion and we have a two other different types of flows also that we'll discuss later those are ui flows and business process flows and in this session i'm going to start with the automated flow so for that i'm going to office 365 we have an app launcher under that we can able to see all apps and we hit all apps and there is a app named as power automate when we hit this one it will open the power automate for us okay it's getting started let's click getting started and if you want to change the country or region you can able to change from here okay this is a window for power automate here we have couple of options we'll discuss one after another but for uh, here we will discuss how to create a new flows so click this create option and when you hit this one you can able to see how many types of flows is available now we have automated cloud flow we have instant cloud flow scheduled cloud flow desktop flow and business process flows now here we are going to discuss about automated flows and then we have instant flows and we have scheduled flows these three we are going to discuss now the very first one is automated cloud flow click on it and then give a name to this flow and i just want to create a notification flow here so for that i'm just giving a name as notification flow and uh, so when you want to trigger this flow actually i want to show an automated flow and i have a share point list here whenever whenever a user is added data into this application list then i want to send an email to the email to a user either you can give in a different manner you can select a user to send in a notification or you can choose that from an item property we'll see this point of time will take a uh, will take a user e email from the item properties that i'll show you click back to your flow and here i have an uh, automated triggering action named as when an item is created we can see a uh, different triggering actions now when whenever you see this shape and symbol these are related to the shape and actions and we have other also one drive actions we have we have planner related we have rss gmail related also we have themes calendar google calendar that is and we have plenty of triggering actions on azure dev apps and we have teams again we have office 365 outlook and again we have one drive related actions we have plenty as well if you want to see more actions you can click show more and you can see plenty of actions available but whenever you see this symbol and these are related to shape and as you can see that name here as well now i am just selecting this action when an item is created in the shape and list just select this one and then click create okay it's can it's creating now when an item is created this is an action which is added automatically now we have a site address and we have a list name if you want to copy your site address from your sharepoint list yes you can able to copy your site collection address copy this and then paste it out here and then the next option is list name here you no need to worry when you click this drop down and you will get the information will wait for a while but see site address is required 
and it doesn't find that i think the copy paste is worked yes it's worked click outside and um, now it's not getting the site url okay we'll see if i click this one there is no items in the site address i am trying to paste this one but it's not coming back so i can copy once again okay then if i click outside it's not able to find it out because and it has to connect to our shape and environment to get that address okay we'll see what happens if i go with the custom value then i'll paste this one yes now i can able to see the list now my list name is application now okay there is no errors here now what we want to do we want to send an email notification to add that and we have an, a new step option in the bottom if you hit this one and it will gives a window to enter that so i'm trying to send a notification just i'll type send we have different type of of and i have sent an email address to office 365 outlook and this is a different email but i want to send an email notifications to office 365 outlook and when we hit this it is trying to sign into the office 365 outlook okay now it is asking two address so two address directly you can type here or you can get it from the dynamic content if i hit this one see created by email and modified by email now i'm working and i'm i'm going to create an item inside a list so that's why i'll take it created by email or otherwise you can directly type the email address if you know the email address of the user now this is subject and i'm just typing notification email from application list so that is the subject and then coming to body and here i just want to type a message hi and then i can take a dynamic content and just i'll take created created by display name that's fine is if comma and then use some new item is added in the new item is added in the application list please find below details so now i'm giving a application name and then I'll take dynamic content from here. So do we have, yes, we have application name. Then I'm just typing technology and take the technology value. Just I'm typing thanks office. 365 admin team okay done so we have added an action named as send an email we given a two address and subject and i added some content in the body that's it and then i'm saving this flow now it's saved and i'm clicking on test and there is a manual test and we have automatic option i am selecting this if i click this one with a recently used trigger trigger and then there is no runs for this flow and i cannot able to test if i hit manually add a new list item to the shape and folder you select to trigger it so when i hit click this one test now we'll see what happens this is already saved I'm trying to add a new item here and I'm giving a title is one and 
now the application is power it would be app, app and which is used by power apps and then when I hit save now the data is saved here now I want to open my outlook and for that I'm opening outlook dot office dot com okay now I open this I have a mail we'll see and when I hit this one so there is a notification email from application list which is this is the subject the subject which I given in the flow and it's showing that hi Rishan Sheikh new item is added in the application list please find below details now the application name is app and the technology is power apps and thanks office 365 admin team so if you want to modify the existing flow which you created you can able to modify that so for that we have to go back to my flows then select this one and you can hit edit option here and also we have the same edit option on the flow as well now when i hit this one i found that there is a mistake here so when i hit this and then i can able to modify this can able to save this one as well so your flow is ready to go we recommended you to test so i'm trying to test it now it's two and i'm giving application name as tech application and which is developed using or automate now when i click save i'm expecting another email will be triggered to my outlook and um, yeah we'll wait for a while if the changes is applied to the app and we, we will get another email okay we'll see So it's ready and uh, we can select this manual option before that. Okay, so I'm not running that. So we got another email also. Now this is changed. Same notification email from application list and the new item is added in the application list. That is application is tech application. And the technology is power automate. Again, we changed something here in the office admin team and which is also a applied into the flow and this way we can able to create automated flows using power automate in the next session we will discuss how we can create instant flows and also we we also going to discuss another actions plenty of actions is available in the power automate and we'll see one after another thanks for watching my video